Hi everybody! We have built Live Battery High Voltage Extension Harness for testing, programming, research and development. In this video we'll show you a few hints about Live Battery connectors, some battery bits and pieces and some battery related data we can read and program with our professional tools. We can plug into the battery pack standalone and read its manufacture date, gradual capacity loss coefficient, also known as state of health, present full capacity and number of charges. We can also do the firmware upgrade on the pack standalone. Note that other tools are unable to read and display the number of charges recorded into the battery controller and would only display cumulative number of charges recorded in the vehicle control module. We help number of people who have sourced and replaced donor battery packs themselves to test those packs standalone and then program battery ID after battery replacement. Battery replacement is not that hard and can be done by one man even without hoist or forklift. Disconnecting and reconnecting plugs could be tricky when you do it for the first time. We saw people were breaking plugs by applying too much force. In this video we'll share know-how so that you can do it yourself with confidence. Here is our extension harness. This is battery side part. It has circular data connector, high voltage oval shape connector and battery heater square shape connector. Do not apply too much force as you could break the plastic. There is only one way you can plug circular connector. Note the location of the lock versus the corner of the plate. Heater square plug has green lock which needs to be pulled out a bit to release the orange push pedal to then allow the plug to be disconnected. Oval high voltage plug has one blue lock which needs to be pulled out a bit and two black push pedals.
surface plug in ZEO leaf made in 2011-2012 has built-in fuse 225 amps 450 volts DC. A ZEO service plug doesn't have the fuse and fuse is located from the other side of the connector. The fuse is 225 amperes, 500 volts DC. Block of relays inside the leaf spec made by Panasonic has similar design as in the first Toyota Prius made in 1997. It has two main high voltage relays and one pre-charge relay. The number of charge counters are recorded for evaluating the condition of those relays. DC relays are arching every time they open or close and eventually may stick in the closed position. That is known fault with the high voltage traction batteries. Leaf battery pack has few heating elements with the protective fuse located in the block of relays. Every module in the battery pack has unique cure code printed on the plastic body and on the metal casing. Using our QR scanner, we can quickly scan all modules in the open pack and tell if they are from the same manufacture date or the pack has already been repackaged with the mix of modules. The table shows scan results of the two modules from different packs. Thank you for watching.